All right, day two of Nailing May and cause and effect. So you should have that worksheet um, or copy down in your reader's notebook. We are going to work on the last two together. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna read you the rest of the story, but you are doing these two on your own. So you can pay attention and write them down as I'm reading, or you can listen to the whole story, think about it, re-listen to the story and write them down, whatever works for you. But these two are going to also be a grade for your discussion post, okay? So remember, the cause is the why. The effect is the result. So as I'm reading the rest of the story today, you are going to think about these two events, okay? Are you listening? Are you ready? Leonard explained that May was not a passenger, she was a package. And on yours, it's worded a little bit different. Um, I think it says Leonard explained that May was a package, not a passenger, okay? So the third one though, should you are coming up with the effect, the result of Leonard explaining that, okay? So you're listening for that part really intently. And then it will say finally, so that's a clue that that's at the end. You are thinking of the cause, the result or the effect is May and Leonard headed to Grandma Mary's place. So we know their plan worked, but let's read and see how it turns out, okay? Pa hugged me and told me to be good to Grandma Mary. Then he was gone and there I was, a package sitting in the post office. Before long, Leonard carted me and the rest of the mail to the train station. The big black steam engine was already waiting, hissing and snorting like a big boar. The sight made me go all tingly, seeing as I've never, ever ridden on a train before. So think about this, all by yourself, Traveling is kind of scary. She's little, but on a train all by herself, at least she has Leonard, right? After Leonard loaded the mail bags, a few other package and a few other packages, he called out, time to go, May. Then he helped me up the steel steps. At exactly seven o'clock, the train chugged away from my home and headed down the mountains. I felt as a adventuresome, I like that word, as Daniel Boone. He was a very adventurous man, look him up. The inside of the mail car was like a little post office and Leonard got busy right away sorting the mail to be dropped off at towns along the way. I curled up nearby the stove to keep warm and watched. Have you heard any of the cause and effects yet? Whether Leonard had a free minute, sorry, whenever Leonard had a free minute, he'd take me to the door for a look. My, oh my, what sights there were to see. Why, we hung on the edge of mountain sides and crawled through tunnels. We crossed deep valleys on top of tall, spidery trestles that Leonard called steel on stilts. Then long about a canyon where the train track twists back and forth down the mountains. I began to feel somewhat less adventuresome, how I felt when I was ziplining. Instead, I was feeling dizzy and weak in the stomach. I was about to run to get some fresh air when I heard an angry voice at the door. Leonard, yelled a man in uniform. That girl better have a ticket or money to buy one. Well, you're listening. It was Mr. Harry Morris, the train's conductor. I hid behind Leonard as he explained that I was a package, not a passenger. Then he showed Mr. Morris the stamps on my coat. That cranky old conductor slapped his knee and laughed out loud. I've seen everything now, said Mr. Morris, wiping his eyes. Well, Mr. Morris plumb scared the dizziness right out of me. 
Even my stomach seemed better and I started feeling hungry. Leonard said lunch would be at Grandma Mary's. You see your little tag? Hope you're listening and writing down your cause and effects. The train made a few more stops at towns like Sweetwater and Joseph before we pulled into the Lewiston Railroad Station. Since this was the end of the line, Leonard had time to be my mail carrier and we headed for Grandma Mary's place. The second I laid eyes on my Grandma Mary, I felt downright warm inside. Ma and Pa had kept their promise after all, with a little help from the U.S. Post Office. Can you believe that's a true story? Pretty good one, right? Um, all right, so I am sending you off on your own. If you need to rewatch the video, do that. Okay. Remember, this is a grade, so you are coming up with the effect. For Leonard explained that May was, remember it says on yours, a passenger, or sorry, a package, not a passenger. And then you are coming up with the cause for May and Leonard headed to Grandma Mary's place. All right, so go back, check your work, and submit it when you are done. All right, bye.